Hello. This is a picture on some bright paper with some bright chalks. My dirty Tupperware tub of chalks that I ought to sort out. <laughs> There's, um, yeah, I've really badly positioned the camera for some of this because I thought it might be nicer if I had the camera in a better place. So I put it on a tripod and now I can't work out how to put the camera in the right place. Doesn't matter. Look, I'm doing a nebula. I love a nebula. This picture is by a psychic who is well known for being a Hutton trucker and streamer and member of the Privateers Alliance, I believe. Certainly she's friendly with them. Anyway, and she does that podcast. Uh, yes, this is a, um, a, a planet that she spotted that's high, high above the galactic plane, which is rather nice. And so uh, don't appear to be many stars in the sky, but I put that down to the nebula. But actually thinking about it, you might not if you're looking across and you're above. There's me making a little mask. Masks makes it much easier because you know you've got a circle. And when you draw in a circle by hand, you don't always get it exactly circular because you, everything's a bit, always a bit wonky. Yeah, I wanted to be able to show that um, that galactic plane behind the planet, in the, the eclipse planet in the sky. So now uh, the rest of this picture is kind of pretty dull, I'm afraid. I'd love to say it was exciting, but a lot of it is me looking at, oh, I'm going to do the white bits now. Oh, I'm going to do the pink bits now. Oh, I'm going to do some more purple bits. So really, if you want to see me do it, you're welcome to look. I mean, to be honest, it's um, quite fun building up landscape. You can, I, I have not got the skill to do it accurately exactly. So there's rocks here that are more or less in the same place and more or less the same shape. But I just don't have the, the patience, probably is what I'd say, to, to sit and make them accurate. I, I think I've got the, the light and shade on the right side of the rocks. But mostly you, you look at it and you, your eyes, you know, like tidying up when you think, all right, I'm going to pick up all the pencils in this room first. So yeah, you look for all the black bits and you look for all the pink bits and I colour them in and, and then sometimes I get them in the right place, which is quite fun. <laughs> yeah, so um, this had lots of flat planes in, in the middle distance and then lots of craggy rocks in the, in the, in the foreground or sharp focus there. Like it said that this was uh, when they went out on the, the Dogs of Law carrier, they're taking the Dogs of Law carrier, this is Mouth the Wind's carrier um, for their faction, uh, taking it out to its eventual resting place, its eventual destination. And obviously, the, the nature of moving a fleet carrier means you stop at various places along the way. So, there's been obviously lots of little exploration trips along the way, and they find planets you perhaps wouldn't see otherwise, which is rather lovely. And she did say that. Um, she, she took Guardian fighters along to do some some fun photography with and uh, well, have a bit of a canyon run with them, I imagine, because they're great fun. And she got it wedged in the fleet carrier thrusters, which is slightly unfortunate. I don't know whether she had to destruct it. She did not say. Um, right in the distance of this picture is uh, a condo, but it's so far away, I couldn't really make it out well enough. So I said, oh, you know, uh, is that a crate? And she said, no, it's a condo. How could I have got that so wrong? They're so different. But seen from the front, it just looked like you know a geometric shape so so anyway i'm using pencil crayons as well in in order to attempt to uh, to to make things look clean and tidy and neat and, and and properly edged i think what i'll do when this is when when i get a minute i'm going to go back to this with a with a fine paintbrush and a bit of white acrylic because it actually looks a bit ropey in places so i'll do the edge of that eclipse on on the planet and, and there's a guardian fighter i just start doing that in a minute and that needs cleaning up loads well you'll see this is always the difficult bit try not to smush things with the elbow <laughs> here's the guardian fighter appearing now uh it's got um, i did all the black bits first and then i did the different shades of light but the beauty of the fighter is that it's held together by those um by those power grid things that are not actually part of the structure but they're just like like almost magnetic beams that hold hold the, the wings on the three the three kind of like prongs on. so that, that there's those there's it's a little bit of misty blue cloud there trying to show that uh, that, that allows it to whoop, whoop through the air to, to swoop through the air in a kind of good way I'll, I'll tidy up some of the shapes on that guardian fighter and I'll, I'll try and make that condor in the distance actually look as though you can uh, like a condor <laughs> All right, anyway, well, thanks for watching and listening, uh, whatnot. Uh, I'll probably do another one in the next week or two. Bye-bye.